All right, man. Let's uh, let's go to this match, man. Let's go to this match. Big E versus Sheamus. Let's go. Big E versus Sheamus. I like the purple uh, camo. I like the purple camo jacket for uh, for Sheamus there, because uh, purple's my favorite color. So a anything that, that that's got purple in it, I, I typically like. So hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Come on. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Let's go. Let's go. There it is. What, what's the holograms in the top there? Be sour. Clap for your world. Nope. Right, they changed it. Again, I don't watch the product. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't watch the product. <clears throat> Look at him, bruh. It's Big E. Is Big E. He's, uh, he's gyrating them hips. He's gyrating them hips. Apparently, uh, so, so Woods, I believe, currently is still out recovering from the, from the injury he had. And I, and I read on Twitter recently that, uh, Kofi's out for six weeks. So, I mean, if there was ever a, a, if there was ever a time to give Big E a singles push, you got it right here. You know what I mean? You got it right here. And then you can have, um, you know... You can have uh, you can have New Day support him when he comes back, or if you want to go the heel way, you can have him turn on New Day when both of them get back. You know what I mean? So like you you got options. So if there, if there was ever a time to give uh, Big E a serious singles push, now is the time, man. Now is the time. I don't think they will, cause I I don't know if they really see Big E like that, but I hope they do, cause he's great. Um, you know. So yeah, he can definitely be a singles guy. I love how Sheamus has uh, the Cesaro, the bar entrance still. The music, at least. The Celtic Warrior is here. I mean, I guess the music was mostly his the whole time. It was just Cesaro's entrance. Or introduction, wasn't it? Oh, look at him, bro. This theme is a banger, by the way. Of absolute banger. Uh, they got the mohawk looking right. They got the mohawk looking right. They got the beard looking all right. The glasses are nice. Mm -mm. 267, really? A lot of muscle, I guess. That makes sense. Also, he's taller. He's a, he's a bigger lad, I think, so... That does make a lot of sense. Look at him, bro. So, he, oh, it looks like he's just got a whole, like, purple attire underneath, because the... the the knee pads are purple as well. That's cool. Hell yeah. I love purple. Like I said, love purple. We'll watch the entrances because we haven't seen them in this game. Um, or, okay, but we haven't seen them in the series and I haven't seen them in this game. Maybe, maybe some of you guys play this game, but yeah. Um, and have seen them. Uh, or I've watched other playthroughs and have seen them, but I have not. So I'll, I'll watch the entrances here that we haven't seen uh, for the first time. And then afterwards, we'll probably skip them. Like, Becky's will skip when we face her as red. Um, stuff like that. Oh, get Sheamus to yellow health is, uh, is uh, not, not too, uh, too reassuring. It's not too reassuring. This dude, bro, Big e, they have Big E fucking quick, which I like. Because he's pretty quick in real life for being a big dude, you know? So, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, got him. Um, let's see if uh, let's see if Big E has any belly to bellies because I know he does them in real life. So, oh god, that's gotta hurt. That's gotta hurt. Yeah, get Sheamus to yellow health doesn't uh, doesn't really uh, reassure me too much of anything because to me it just it just screams you know um, cutscene loss. So. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ooh, there you go. There you go. Oh, what? Perform a grapple move while Sheamus is in the ring. Do I really want to? I guess. If this is going to end the match already. The, yeah, he's definitely going to lose. Yeah. Just make me play as Sheamus then. What? Like, fucking why? 
Just make me play a Sheamus and say win the match. Savages, that's what it was, not Misfits. Savages. Um, I really don't like that because like, look how quick I was done with that match. You know what I mean? Like, that's just, uh, I don't, like, make me play as Sheamus and have me win as Sheamus, one. Two, um, why, why does Sheamus get a win and Pete Dunne doesn't? Give Pete, give Pete Dunne the win instead. Pete Dunne's better, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, come on, man. Like, Sheamus isn't bad, I like Sheamus. But, I mean, like, Pete Dunne, in my personal opinion, has, like, world heavyweight champion star of the company potential. Sheamus, for me, doesn't. Sheamus, is, for me, is upper mid-card. You know what I mean? And uh, maybe some of you disagree, but for me, that's that's what he is. And that's not a bad thing. Like, upper mid-card's not bad, you know? Upper mid-card's good. He's been given WWE title runs and world title runs and stuff like that, which, like, were okay, I guess. Or they were whatever. But, like, for me, he's always been that upper mid-card guy. And he was really good at, uh, with, with Cesaro as the bar. Uh, let's see, we got, okay, so we got Jane Doe, and then we got, we got no text messages for Gustav, again. Um, we got messages, let's see what they, maybe it's Biggie apologizing. Brooklyn Von Braun, you should stop looking at your phone and concentrate on the series. Also, I'm finding you 1,000 for texting during an event. I love being GM. Bro, it's 10 years in the future and I've been champion for 10 years. You think $1,000 means something to Red? Red's probably living in a fucking mansion and wipes her ass with $1,000 at this point if she's been champion and fucking face of the division for 10 years? Are you kidding me? You think $1,000 means anything to her? She wipes her ass with $1,000, bro. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's talk to, let's talk to Woods. You didn't hear this from me. But Red's getting a little nervous now that the series is tied up. Okay. No, she doesn't need to worry. Oh, Woods is losing. After my match against Finn, we'll be one win oh, away from why, the series. Oh, why, man? At least then Red I drew. Can defend her title fucking... versus Becky in the ring. You know, how it's usually done. Wait, what? Hold on. No, she doesn't need to worry, because after my match against Finn, we'll be one win away from taking the series, then Red can defend her title versus Becky in the ring. You know how it's usually done. So are they actually doing that as the fourth match? That's good. Hey, this might be a little late, but I had an idea for our team name. The New Trey. <laughs> new Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. New Trey Rocks. What do you think? I think it's time to end this series and see you guys in 2K20, 2K22. Um, my God, that's awful. Uh, I uh, think I heard my music. Uh, gotta run. Yeah, get out of there, Woods. Get out of there. Get out of there, Woods. You don't want to be in there. <laughs> you, you do not want to be in there. Let's go, man. Let's go. So we got Woods versus Finn, which I don't like because it means Finn's going to win. Um, unless Woods does win and then we get Red losing and then I have to win it for her. Um, that might be the way they go. That, that's the way I, th I wanted it to go at the beginning, but I didn't think they would. Um, like I said, I thought they would have maybe me lose and cost it. Or maybe Woods loses and then I beat Dre. Either way, I'm, I'm beating Dre at this point. Um, to make a, to put a... You know what I mean? So that's that's the thing I don't like. Unless, unless they really do have her lose the title. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe she, maybe I lose her the title and then she like gets mad at me and I'm like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? I, I did my best. And she's like, oh, you're a piece of shit because she's really a piece of shit and an awful character. <clears throat> but I mean, there you go. Francesca, the 27th right there. Um, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Ooh, look at those. Ooh, look at that moves. Look at those moves, bruh. Hell yeah. I'm not really too big of a fan of their uh, their attire in this game. I don't really like the blue brick theme. Um, I like the uh, the thing that they had the last time I watched, which I think was Mania. I think they had like a paint by the numbers type thing going on with their attire where there was like, you know what I mean? Like I thought that looked pretty cool. That's a pretty cool uh, thing. It's it's fitting with the New Day's, uh, you know, whole gimmick and stuff. So, yeah, I don't know. New Day's been around for a while, man. Can you can you can you think about that? Like in 2015, they formed in 2015. It's, we've seen five years of the New Day, which I feel like is a long time for a faction in modern wrestling. 
uh, to, to be together, you know? Like, the Usos have, but let's be honest, I don't know if the Usos could succeed in singles. And I don't even know if they'd want to do singles, to be honest with you. I think they were, like, raised wanting to do... Um, I think they were raised, you know, when, when... I think they grew up wanting to be tag team wrestlers. So, I don't know. They're both really good in... You know what? They probably could succeed in singles. I'm talking out of my ass. They're both good promos. Kind of. And then um, they're both really good in ring. So, I mean, they I, I feel like, yeah, they could probably be uh, good in singles. But I, I feel like they're much better in tag. We've already seen Finn's entrance. Or did we skip it? We skipped it. But he just, he takes so long to get to the ring. Let's, okay, we'll watch the whole one. We'll watch the whole entrance. No worries. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he's got some tattoos now, he does. A um, couple of them look kind <clears> of... <throat> typical of an athlete. Let's say that instead of saying bad. Because um, athletes... With all, with all the money professional athletes have, you think they'd have great tattoos? Man, so many of them have shit tattoos. You have no idea. It's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, you know what? Wrestling's probably a bit different, though, because wrestling, you're not, like... You do get time... I don't know. There he is. Because, like, with, with, like, with, 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 like, team sports and stuff, you're traveling a lot. So, like, on your team bus, maybe you'll have, like, a tattoo artist or something. So you're like, hey, tattoo artist who can come on the bus, come here, instead of going to an actual shop and sitting in an artist's chair and getting their tattoo done. But I feel like wrestlers probably just, like, find a good artist and get it done. Um, but I don't know. To be honest, as long as your tattoo, as long as you yourself like your tattoo and it has meaning to you and shit like that, it doesn't matter what anybody gives, like, says, you know what I mean? Like, I, I may not like Finn's tattoos, some of them, but I mean, if he likes them and they mean something to him, fuck me, you know? Uh, not literally, because I don't roll that way, but, uh, maybe, I mean, for the right amount of money. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I'm a clown. Let's go. Get Finn to yellow health. Um, I guess means uh, Woodsy is gonna lose here. Let's uh, let's pin you and let's break out of the pin. Haha, <laughs> tricked ya. Let's go. Let's uh, can you get your ass up, please? Can you get your ass up, please? There we go. There we go. Why is his random move Mrs. Finisher? <laughs> what? Why does he have Mrs. Finisher as a random move? Oh god, that's not good. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Yeah, I reversed you, bitch. Got him. I reversed you, you little bitch. You little bitch. Got him. Come on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Let me get you. Let me get you. Let me get you. Why am I dragging you away? I mean, you had, you had enough room for that. You had enough room for that. That's a kind of gross move, and it took a long time, so I'm kind of mad. Come on, pick him up faster, bro. Do the move before he can... He's going to reverse halfway through, isn't he? Ooh, hell yeah. That's a nice move. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's go. Let's get you with a nice... Uh, oh, wow. It's already over, huh? Fantastic. Wow. He's not even a yellow either on like his on his HUD. That's the weird part. Yeah, I don't see Woods beating Finn if I'm, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, he hurt his leg? Oh, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a distraction, and then yeah, absolutely. Oh, why, why a running cross body? You, no, 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 no. You're expecting me? Oh, because it sets it up for the, uh, for the coup de grace. Yeah, okay. I was gonna say because if he's doing a cross body to, to, to like win, like you know, then that's kind of dumb because it's a cross body. But cross body to set up the coup de grace, that makes sense. There you go. Woods he lost, so. Um, I hate when commentators do that. I hate when commentators are like, Oh, was he really hurt or was this a setup? It was obviously a setup. JR was so good with stuff like that because something would happen and be like, This is a damn shame. This is a robbery. He pretended to be hurt to blah, blah, blah. Because JR was the goat. But Michael Cole acts like a fucking idiot who doesn't know what anything's going on and insults the user's intelligence by being like, Do you guys think this was real? No, it was a fucking plan. 
Are you like, oh, I hate when commentators do that. I hate when commentators do that. I hate when commentators do that. I, I miss the good old days of, 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 of JR and King and uh, good Cole and Taz because Cole on SmackDown with Taz was great when he didn't have Vince in his ear all the time. Um, but uh, yeah, so Woods, Woods lost. So that's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. We'll, we'll, see, we'll see how they do the ordering of the match. We'll see if, if Red uh, wrestles next like Woods alluded to or if we wrestle next so we'll we'll see who has the next match I guess